Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Hunwald loved you like family, and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oaths and ale work better than your prayers and saints. That's not normal. Show me what lies ahead. That must be the tree Atcha mentioned. Hoonwald may be nearby. I remember the days we spent here together. Here, upon this spot. Ducking and hiding through the rushes. With bow and arrow chasing rabbits and squirrels, a thousand arrows I fired and a hundred trees I bled. But not a single animal could I catch. All of them fled. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Eivor? Is that you? Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unwald. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... 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 The view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <clears throat> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting. And I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. 
To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love, she sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my Shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. That. Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh! Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. Wait for my seat. Who said 
meek, I'll be damned! Well struck, Eivor! That's twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear! Follow me! <laughs> Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes! Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her! I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. Looking for someone? My husband? He was not supposed to leave home on his own. I fear he has fallen asleep somewhere. Fallen asleep? Yes, a curse he has carried his whole life. At any moment his eyes roll back and his body simply collapses. 
Dangerous to be out there on his own. You think he would have gotten far? His bag is gone. I fear he may have taken it to go fruit picking down south near the old ruins. Pjarti, where are you? I will keep an eye out for him. Thank you. He snores, if that helps. Pjarti! Can you hear me? What can I get for you? You never know when this might come in handy. Seems like you're expecting trouble. This is a very good piece. You always bring the strangest things. This is the current fashion. You look stronger already. Nothing else? I'll see you later, friend.
Oh, my brother! Die! falls asleep at any moment. How did you last this long? Resting my eyes. I swear it. I found him asleep beneath a tree. He's unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will belt him! That is a start. Farewell. I was filled with worry. Those are the cries of a broken heart. Who died? My beloved cat, Sphinxy. And please, do not be so crass. Sphinxy has simply... passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound. But in time, it will heal. And life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more, with each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxy pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. <laughs> a long time, I know. <laughs> a little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxy with a shrine? There's no burial, but it may ease your grief. 
I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. I will help you. We will build Sphinx Sea a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She... <laughs> Sort through all the rubble. This will do. I will add this to the shrine. Found some of Sphinx's belongings. It is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxy. Whenever you care to pay your respects. And a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Swingsy, but her children need you. And here I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers! You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my Sphinxy. Lord, light your way.
What is it? A fight? You, my name is not Hoonwald, it's Roderick, and I've told you to shut your flappers! What concern is this to you, heathen? That is not... Get me off this mm. thing! Seems there's a bounty out on Hunwald. Oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. Do you know him? I do. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elder Man, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremoots. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see.
To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herafriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? Well, I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not there. Wolves. Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! By God, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Oh! <laughs> 
The house is burned, Eivor. See you burn her dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Aldgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shiremoot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. The Shiremoot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! See me, this will get messy.
God damn you! Going to smash you! Come! 